guys this is V diamond in the rough and I haven't done a whipping chat for a while and I think it's time I did one as you can see I'm working on Anubis um, I decided to go with Anubis over top of starting the geisha for a couple of reasons so Anubis is a square and I haven't worked on a square for a while but the other side is I want to talk about when I kitted up Geisha I made mention of some co a comment somebody making a comment on my channel about Anubis there's been some questions raised about you know basically wanting people wanting to know what it was um, I can't I, I can't actually remember the lady's name um, which is a good thing or maybe it's a case of uh, not worth remembering I don't know take your pick so I said in the thing in the kidding up um, you know, I believe that she had subscribed, so I'm I'm taking it that she's I'm still taking it that she has subscribed, unsubscribed. Sorry. Um. So, what happened is she informed she she liked the picture, but she made a simple comment about art theft, which um, I agree. In a lot of ways that it should be called out however the way she called it out was to me was inappropriate she did say that she had let the artist know um, she actually didn't tell me who the artist was which is something that would have been nice because had I had she actually given me who the artist was I would have actually put credit on everything that I've done in relation to this I would have put the artist's name so that that artist does get full credit on my side of things but instead um, yeah uh, she this lady promptly told me I turned around and said well unless you buy from a specific couple of companies you will basically be purchasing stolen art or dealing with well what I actually use the word copyright breach because that's what it is it's a copyright breach so yeah I after her conversation with her she turned around and said she wouldn't be cowed down which fair call to her albeit I was not didn't want her to cow down I'd, I'd rather she actually got it out there but I said something that she, I don't think she appreciated so um, she took her comments down and obviously unsubscribed or hopefully unsubscribed and my comment that made her unsubscribe was the fact that I said about people ordering customs um, and how some companies protect themselves in relation to copyright breaches and it's quite interesting to see how it's done and I'm gonna probably upset some people here when I mention it when I say what, who this company is because straight off the bat this company uh, Diamond Art Club Diamond Art Club now does customs they put on the heading personal photo right that indemnifies them from any images being them putting on canvas for their customers I have seen customs done by Diamond Art Club of copyright copyrighted images 
and I've seen it done by and the YouTubers that have actually done it have blatantly turned around and said oh they really like this picture on the internet and they really wanted it so that's what they got so they sent that off and with the belief that if it had been copyrighted Diamond Art Club would go no we can't do it well because you supplied it you're the one in breach of copyright so for, I will say you look at my channel and you look at the amount of customs I have those customs are either my photography or my partner's photography the other things that I have and I pay a high price for is Diamond Shop that is all their artists work I turn around and try a company okay I try a company that everybody raves about it was, had special on so I went okay I'll give it a go and I get told it's art theft it, it frustrates me I think for the way that I do my diamond paintings I can get away with not that I could get away with there would be some consideration for the fact that I've purchased an image I've purchased a diamond painting from a country right from a country that is excluded from copyright protection so guys if you're going to turn around and do that and comment on copyright image on my channel please give me the artist's name I will give full credit to the artist that provided that picture. Um, I'm not monetized, not yet anyway. I will be eventually. If the artist that did this, it created this image, wanted to, they could have my video this video or any other video in relation to this picture struck in a situation where it could be prevented from being shown or as part of copyright laws any funds earned from this image from this videos with this image in it could go to that person go to that artist So in saying that, if I actually have the artist's name on my page, it actually does help that artist find the image and therefore if they want to put a claim on it, they can. And then if down the track I'm monetized and I earn anything with this image, it can go to them. That's how it works. That's how YouTube works in relation to copyrighted stuff okay so the owner of the image can do two things claim copyright and claim funds or claim copyright and completely ban the video from being shown at all and yet again I will say it there has been images from Diamond Art Club where YouTubers have uploaded their work you know they've done the They've purchased this copyrighted image, uploaded it, done a bit of work on it, and Diamond Art Club have come along and gone, bang, that's a copyrighted image, that's ours. And they don't take any commission from it. They actually will have the video um, blocked, so it cannot be viewed at all. And that's the way it works with copyright. It would be nice if I could have the artist's name. If any of you guys know the artist's name to this image, please, please let me know. Because I'd rather give full credit to the artist. And if the artist decides that they would like to benefit from any future earnings on this, um, they can. That's the way it works, if they really want to make some money off of it. 
I haven't checked to see whether this image is still available. Personally, to me, I don't care if it's available or not. This is something that I've paid for, I've purchased, and I'm prepared for the artist to come and copyright it. And if they don't want this image shown, they can, can, they can prevent the video from being shown, which then means that when I do any whip and chats, uh, this won't be in it. And if when I complete it, I won't do a review on it because that will get that copyright strike on it and it won't show on my channel. So yeah, um, I just thought I had to get that out because it was bugging me. It was completely bugging me. You know, you see people, I see people get images um, get customs and they say how they downloaded it off the internet um, you know oh, I found this image on the internet what size do you reckon I should have it as a custom do you know somebody put that image up there that image is owned by somebody guys that's what I want you to think about is if you're going to turn around and say, no, you're, you're using stolen art, please tell me that if you've ordered a custom, it's been your own personal work or has it been downloaded? I don't carry on on other people's channels about copyrighted art. I have on one channel where the person firmly believed that it was okay to download and she firmly believed that it was okay because Diamond Art Club actually printed it. She believed that because Diamond Art Club printed the image, it was not copyrighted. Um, the only reason why I knew it was a it was. Um, a copyrighted image is because it was digital art on something that on a on a web page that I follow and I love the image myself and unless you actually know what you're looking for in relation to that um, it's it's not easy to find you don't I don't know I don't even think you could Google search it or anything like that but the artists that produce that the image is copyright, legitimately copyrighted. Okay. And the thing is that six months after he produced that image, he was he actually died. So it's not a case of being able to get there and contact him to say, hey, your image has been copyrighted. If I wanted to, I probably could have contacted the digital art company that did it, that it was under. But who's it going to benefit? Who's it not going to benefit? I mean, the funds wouldn't go to him. But yeah. So that's what frustrated me and that's, that's what got me cranky. You know. Oh gosh. Okay, no, that's a V. Sorry, I'm looking at symbols to try and work out what's my, what the symbols are. <laughs> oh, yeah. The great thing with a new diamond painting is learning the new symbols. So where am I at with things? I thought I'd get that out of the way first. Um, I'm not titling this as a, a rant or anything. This is just me having a good chat. Okay, so where am I at with things? Um, today is, I was about to say Thursday because I'm back, I'm back at work tomorrow, but today is Friday. Um, I should be at work today. However, I did a shift swap with somebody. Somebody needed to... Um, needed to actually take some time off and couldn't 
there was not enough crews for him to take the leave so he had to do a shift swap and that's the way it works where we are um, so short staff that we're not getting leave approved and so short staff that they're actually having to have people although they don't take leave they don't have enough crews to actually staff things so they're actually paying overtime they're paying for people to come in and do extra shifts which is what I did what I've done just recently so yeah today's Friday due back at work tomorrow I've got two days and two nights um, yeah so I've just come off doing a heap of overtime well a heap of extra shifts um, and my sleep pattern <laughs> is kaput <laughs> But that's okay. That's quite okay. Um, much as Nathan doesn't seem to like it. Um, once I start back at work, my sleep pattern will get normal again. I just need to do one block of proper times and then we'll be all good. Uh, what have I done diamond painting wise? So, as you've seen, Girl by Carousel completed. Oh, that was gorgeous to do. Um, <laughs> I probably could have done it sooner, but um, I don't know. I just wanted that one to last for quite a while. And it was a 67 by 100. You know, I have worked on other diamond paintings in, a, in that time as well. Um, yeah, I completed Rose Garden, Claudia Tremby piece of work uh, from Diamond Shop as well. Um, what else have I done? Um, my mum, my mum. It's been a while since I've done an update on what I've done. I completed the Magic Girl, which was a Sybil art that yet again from Diamond Moon Shop. Yeah, I did some purchasing from them recently, so you know, like it's all coming to a, a completion stage on a lot of them um, because I rotate my diamond paintings. I work on a few at a time, and oh. Yet again, I haven't done anything on my lioness and cub for a while. But that's, that's more to do with the fact that I've done extra shifts and it just puts me out of whack. And I've got to be in a certain mood to work on it. Plus, I have to have a definite, like, four hours. Because when I start it, I've got to do the full page which generally takes me about three and a half, four hours to do. So I've got to make sure I've got the time. So if I finish, if I started at seven o'clock at night, I'm not going to be off there till one in the morning. Um, so yeah, just been kind of, been putting that on off. And I've start working on that one during the day. Uh, where am I going? There. On my days off. Uh, resin wise, hmm, getting there with the resin stuff. I have for the ladies that have got the um, cover minders. I should be posting them out next week, which is pretty cool. Um, I've had a few snags with doing it, so for I think I've mentioned it on my other rows and stuff that I've done. Um, the shaker moulds I've struggled with, the amount of oil I end up over the place and then that messes things up and takes longer to do anything. Um, excuse me, what else? What else? What else? What else? So 
so yeah the shakers have been fun to do uh, and working out what magnets are best has also been pretty much a trial and error process as well so ladies some of them some of the cover minders I'm sending you I'm not happy with but um, I have two choices <laughs> keep which one am I doing that one there um, I'd like you guys to try them out and tell me what you think at least of the the concept of it I have a choice of if I go ahead I have a choice of doing things um, I'm not keen to use Etsy um, my own personal web page my travel web page I can set up a store on there and that's what I'm tempted to do because with that I mean I pay for a, a I pay for um, my own domain where am I at there we go but I don't know if you, anybody would be comfortable purchasing off of that or whether they prefer me go Etsy or how else do we to guys sell stuff oh I mean I'm not keen about putting stuff on like marketplace kind of thing in that so and I'm not sure how to go with Etsy and I mean Etsy does I believe Etsy does charge fees um, which if I use my own website I don't there's no fees chart involved and I can I've got a hundred percent control over the web page and how it looks you know and you know I, if I want to put quite a few different images on or whatever I want to put on there I can control it um, I don't know what I can do with Etsy um, but yeah let me know what you think even for you guys that aren't getting the cover minders as trials um, would you be comfortable purchasing from my own personal domain website or do you need it to be on Etsy um, so yeah yeah and then the other flip side of it is um, if you guys in the, the that are getting them I'm actually not <laughs> and how silly is this I'm actually not sure what price to put on them <laughs> I'm shocking I haven't kept track on what I spend on this because this is a hobby <laughs> um, it's an, I'm not here to make money it's a hobby it's it's like my channel I'm not here to make money it's a hobby um, you know <laughs> I saw the DP a thon and I've seen a lot of new channels and the amount of people and I'm not being critical of anybody in any way so please don't take it that way um, but the amount of people that have PayPal account accounts listed on their web on their YouTube channel on every one of their videos um, to help them with their channel fair call fair call you want help with your channel um, for me this is this is a hobby this is what I want enjoy doing and I don't particularly find it appropriate for me personally to actually go oh here's my account if you want to help me out with my channel this is this is my account um, yeah I know with when I'm monetized with YouTube, the YouTube doesn't bring much income. I am never going to be a channel that gets much in the way of income. But yet again, this is a hobby, not a business. Much as Nathan kind of like, mm, come on. He gets he gets a bit annoyed when I tell him I'm going to do a recording. You need to keep quiet. Um. <laughs> And then he walks in, starts talking, and 
Tim goes, oh, sorry, you're recording. So, you know, it just, it's a hobby. It's not like I'm going to say to him, you can't talk rah, 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 because I don't want that extra noise or whatever. But um, when and if my channel ends up getting monetized, that'll be just a little bit of a, that's the icing on the cake, just of getting a little bit of something. But I'm not fussed about it. I started as a hobby. I'd like to keep it as a hobby. Um, so yeah. Oh, that's something with the resin work. When I did um, one of the pieces, <laughs> a little story with that. One of the the one with the where I did the two pieces, and one piece was actually on um, time lapse, which was the dragon shaker. I actually didn't mean for that to be on time lapse. I actually had to. Um, speed that video footage off up to cancel out certain noises because I was recording on a day when Nathan was at home and he did forget that I was recording and he's walked in from the garage into the living because like up this our house is a very big open plan place but he's opened the garage door which goes straight into the living room gone oh sorry are you still recording and then farts without me without me giving a chance to say yes I am oh my god the noises that comes out of him so yeah I put that on time lapse because <laughs> let's just say uh, it was pretty disgusting I live with it you guys and put up with it you guys don't have to <laughs> uh, um so yeah, the back to the cover miners. Jeez, I've gone all over the place today. I think most of my chats are anyway. Um, so yeah, the cover miners uh, shall go out next week, and there's a couple of interesting extra pieces in there. So. Um, not everybody's going to get the well i'm trialing something and not everybody's going to get it but for those that get it on there and, and do an unboxing of it because there's some people that will get it that i know don't have doesn't have don't have youtube channels um but some that do have youtube channels um will be getting this a little test test pieces and hopefully hopefully they like them we we'll wait and see um, I am going to send a little bit of um, I could say a taste of Australia but not quite but um i'm going to send um yeah a little something from australia for like i you know, want to um hmm. so yeah that's one thing that keep out an eye out there'll be some youtubers that'll unbox um from me and hopefully they like um without me saying what they are what it is that's getting sent my test my little trial things um hopefully they'll be able to go oh and know exactly what it's for because i'm actually using one right now and thankfully you can't see it but I'm not using it in the manner it's meant to be because this has not worked what how I wanted it to <laughs> how's that so yeah I mean I've been trialing a couple of things and trying to get them to work and this one that I've got in my hand didn't work 
I got another one that didn't really it worked, but it didn't work um, because it's clear. Well, it's glitter, but it's basically clear. It's just just yeah, not good. Um, oh yeah. Back to work tomorrow. I'm actually looking forward to going back to work. I've had five days off. Um, oh, that's something that with the resin, I'm going all over the place obviously. You're probably used to me going all over the place anyway. Um, finding that some of the resin is actually giving me headaches. So I'm having to identify, that's one of the re another one of the reasons why I'm going so slow, is I'm having to identify which resin is giving me the headaches. Um, because I've got to eliminate the ones that give me headaches because um, basically if I'm going to get headaches from it, I can't work from it. Some give me headaches, some don't. Uh, and here goes the ice machine. No, yeah, I can hear it. It's buzzing. It's going to drop a load of ice very shortly. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> it's filling up. Um, yeah, so some of the resin's been giving me headaches, so I've just got to try and identify which ones have been and which ones haven't been. And then the ones that have been giving me headaches will, um, I won't order again. I have ruled out the resin that I brought from Amazon, which, what was that company? That was the, I can't remember, where's their business card? Oh, I don't know, I can't find their business card there. Not where I normally keep business cards. No. Um, yeah, so I won't be buying my resin from either. Uh, I don't know whether it's Amazon or just that company in itself. Probably just that company. Um, you know, I, I've got. I suppose I got spoiled with the art resin, epoxy resin, because that's non-toxic and I can work with it out without any issue. I've, yeah in an enclosed room, no window open and, and it hasn't affected me. Not a good thing to do when you work with resin, but you know that's how good that one is in comparison to getting headaches from this other stuff. Um, on the flip side of that, to try and work out which resin I'm u which resin's working or not, um, I need to stop using different brands. So I've used Today I've used resin from Miniature Suite and from the Kawai Crafts and I do know the Kawai Crafts resin didn't give me a headache. Um, the Miniature Suite one, I do have a bit of a headache now so I don't know whether that is from the resin or from something else but um, yeah, the head's hurting a fair amount. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. Um, what else is going on? Oh, today. Yes. Stephanie Wolfpack Diamond Painting. She has celebrated a year on YouTube today. Well, for you guys, it was yesterday. Uh, Thursday the 24th. <laughs> today it's Friday the 25th here. Um, but yeah, she's celebrating a year on YouTube and she did a um, giveaway on her live and I actually won it. Um, well, she gave three prizes out and I won one of them. And so in that I won the Craftmates Lockable. I think everybody, the three, because she gave away to three, I think we all ended up selecting the Craftmates Lockable. Um, 
over. There was a choice of the craft mates lockable or the harbour freight. And um, for me, because I do the big, big diamond paintings, the craft mates lockable made more sense to me to get. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah it's quite funny I'll have a it's just every time I get a lot of storage containers it just means that I kit up one extra diamond painting and I work on a couple at a time more than one or two at a time okay, just got that section there okay so yeah um, it was the first time I've actually, because I'm in Australia, um, most times people when they do their giveaways are like, "Sorry, we can't do international." And it, you know, it's somebody in the US go, saying, "I can't, can't give away international." So um, I don't jump in. I don't make a comment to say I'd love to go in the competition, but I can't because I'm in Australia. Right? Because I don't need the woe is me. I don't need to give that crap. Sorry. <laughs> don't mean it that way, but... You know, you know, there's no point even putting a comment on. If you're not eligible, you're not eligible. Um, and it's not cheap to ship things. And, you know, Stephanie, when she ships that to Australia, she, you know, I've shipped to the US. It's not cheap. Um, so yeah, um, it's pretty cool, pretty cool to actually win something. So yeah, because Steph went, oh, you know, she, it's open to everybody. I was wrapped, you know, so it's like, yep, okay, well, that's the case, I will. And I I have one number that I use every time when it's, because she gave, a, it was a guess of numbers between 1 to 70, and I always give the one number, same number every time. Uh, and you know it's a case of don't enter the number until she types in go into the chat so that any number from go to when she says stop are, are the numbers that are counted and she's she typed in go and I hit enter because I'd already typed my number in and with that, with that, it was, um, yeah. So I was actually the first one to get a number in. And it wasn't the actual number, but it was closest to, and I was the first number closest to one of those numbers. So um, it was really cool, really cool. Oh, right. so, yeah. So I will have a Craftmates lockable or another one, which is really excellent. I have two Craftmates lockable already. Um, I think they take, hang on, how much do they take? Where's my calculator? 56 colours. And they do hold a lot. Whoops. So yeah, they do hold a lot of um, a lot of colours as well. They're very deep, deep, deep storage containers, and I love them. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, they weren't big enough for this one because this one takes fifty nine. And they weren't big enough for um, the geisha because that takes that was 60 colors. But most diamond paints, it's 56 colt, you know, is enough. So, yeah. Um, what else have I done? Oh, I, although I haven't completed it and I've lost footage because I've changed computers. I've lost the footage of um, me doing the work, but I'm in the process of turning a diamond painting into a cushion without sewing. Um, so when I complete 
that one. I have a couple more that I want to do the same thing to. Um, but having done it once, I now know what I'm doing and I will record it, record the process. Uh, and yeah, do that one. As a video, up and coming video, it will take me a series of days to do it because uh, things have to set. The best way to put it, things have to, glue has to set. But it's really cool. And the paintings that I would put on to a cushion, you have to be a bit selective on as well. Um, my first one that I've done is uh, the cushion that I've done now is the is a diamond dots one. So the glue is really good on that, and it is only a decorative cushion. Whoops. Two ten. I've just realised I've missed one symbol from my last colours. Come on. There we go. Okay. And keep looking and there's another one there. Another one there. Forty minutes. I've been yakking for about forty minutes. I think that's about long enough for a whip and chat. Um, sorry, I'm I'm expecting a package today. Uh, not diamond painting or resin related, so it's not one that'll get unboxed. Um, but yeah. Ooh. Pardon me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to continue working away with this. Um, hopefully the beginning of my chat didn't offend anyone. Uh, I mean, I, I recognise art and artists that should get credit. Uh, I would like if I have something on my channel that um, is by an artist and you recognise it, please let me know because I will give full credit to that person um, and I will do what I can to contact that person to say, hey, this is what I've got, this is where I got it from uh, and then it's up to them whether they want to claim copyright and the video to be taken down or whether they want to put a claim on it so that any monies earned on that on that this well like this painting any monies earned from it actually go to them so just turning around and saying it's a image that that image is part of art theft and that that person has contacted the artist Please give me more information. Please tell me who the artist is so that I can contact them and let them know myself personally and give them credit of the image. I mean, that's the, uh, to me, that is the best way to actually identify that. And, and, you know, it's not as much of a case of, well, the company that produces the design is um, exempt from the copyright but that just gives but by me being able to recognize the artist it gives them credibility and credits on on the work that they've done so guys if you actually do know who this artist is please let me know please let me know it'd be great to know who the artist is I couldn't find it I found I like I could see on Pinterest images of this on Pinterest but nothing that actually said who the artist was or anything like that. Um, yeah. 
so I'll leave it there 45 minutes I'll leave it there I will say guys thank you for watching feel free to give me a thumbs up a thumbs down leave a comment if you actually decide to disagree with what I'm saying um, that's your right to disagree absolutely your right to disagree but I won't if you disagree with me I won't put any comments on it I won't give your you I will let your your feelings stay up there but I'm not going to feed on any negative comments um, it's just not worth it and you know in a way I'm glad this lady took the comments down but I'm actually in a way wish she'd let, left it up because I'd rather people see what's said um, yeah. because at the moment you're only hearing what I've said because she's just taken it down you know, if, if she was so passionate about the fact that this is art theft, this image is part of art theft, she should have left it there. Mine, she should have told me who the artist is so that I could give them credibility. Give them the creds to the artwork itself. But yeah. So guys, thank you for watching. <laughs> Yet again, how many times have I tried to say thank you for watching? <laughs> And I will chat to you guys in another time and see you in another video, which will probably be something to do with resin, I think, next. So yeah, I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.